Okay, I just got done watching a video by James Hoffman where he turns a bunch of veggies into a veggie stock, not by the traditional method, but by juicing them. Now, this method seemed to produce a tastier, uh, albeit different veggie stock than what you would normally be used to, where you would just roughly chop up a bunch of veggies, throw it into a pot of water, and boil it for a while. Now, if you don't know who James Hoffman is, he's a celebrated coffee enthusiast, guru, master. He, he's the guy you go to if you wanna know how to make the best cup of coffee. And he used techniques from coffee brewing to kind of fabricate this idea of juicing veggies before you cooked them into a stock. Now, I wanted to try his version first. I'm gonna follow pretty much his exact instructions, but I think just like coffee, uh, you, don't, you don't brew coffee from a raw bean. You brew coffee from a roasted and ground bean. So I kinda wanna do the same thing. So for my method, what I'm going to try is I'm going to first roast my vegetables and then juice them. Let's see if this works. Uh, I'm preheating my oven for 400 degrees with a pan in it. I wanna make sure that my baking sheet is nice and hot. I don't wanna put these raw veggies onto a uh, cold baking sheet without any oil or anything that's gonna be nonstick. Otherwise, we just have a bunch of stuck dry vegetables. Okay, so first off, let me prep everything. Everything needs to be cleaned and roughly chopped. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then we're gonna get to juicing. So like I said, I'm gonna chop the carrots I'm gonna really pretty much rough every, roughly chop everything that needs to be roughly chopped, but I'm gonna weigh it as a whole. I have 12 carrots, but just like, you know, James said in his video, uh, every carrot weighs different. I have some pretty big carrots, you know? I have some pretty thin and small carrots. There's 12 carrots here, six for each stock. We'll see what this comes out to be roughly 480 grams. So that's gonna be 240 grams that we throw into the juicer, 240 grams that get roasted. 240 grams of celery, 120 grams juiced, 120 grams roasted. Now, both of our leeks are roughly the same size, so one in the juicer, one on the roaster. Now for our garlic, James poached his before he threw it in just to get rid of the astringency. I'm gonna roast half and I already have half being poached. Okay, we have 1,735 grams of onions. So that is 865 grams that we're going to be roasting. The rest is gonna get into the juicer. Now the thing with the herbs is they're all gonna go in fresh. Uh, we're not gonna put any on the roasting pan, they'll get destroyed. So at this point, let's throw our veggies in the oven. We're gonna roast them at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Now essentially the recipe calls for like a sprig of each one of these. So like this sprig of parsley is different than say this sprig of parsley. So that's why I'm just gonna weigh them. So we have 4.5 grams of parsley. We're, there's some juice dripping out. I mean, three grams of cilantro. Three grams of tarragon, same thing, a little bit of drippage from that as well. Three grams of basil, and just a half a gram, which is about a sprig of thyme. Okay, so at this point, we have a ton of juice. This is just the juice. This is the, the juiced bits from, from the parsley and all that. We'll just add that in. So at this point, right now, I have uh, two liters of water on the stove. I'm gonna add this to the two liters of water along with, I believe, 200 milliliters of white wine and I'm gonna throw in some bay leaves and we're gonna cook this for 20 minutes. Now in a separate pot, I'm gonna bring to a simmer two liters of water, 200 milliliters of the dry white wine, some bay leaves. I'm gonna bring that up to a simmer. I'm gonna add the herbs, kind of kill the heat on that and allow that just to soak for a little bit. And then I'm going to clean this all up and we're going to juice our roasted vegetables. I'm excited about that. Okay, so we got some roasted everything. We lost a little bit of size. We probably lost some juice, but I'm assuming it's gonna be a better tasting juice, we'll see. Onions are a little caramelized on the bottom half, which is probably good. That's gonna be some flavor right there. I don't wanna lose any of that. Now, I'm really excited for this method. I think we're gonna get a lot better flavors that come out, things that are a little bit less tough. Uh, but let's get going. We've already got the weights, we already got the measurements. Let's see what we end up with. The leek ends up coming out a lot juicier, like clearer almost. I bet you everything juice is a heck of a lot easier too. It does. Things are coming through really nice and soft. 
Okay, this is coming out great. So both of our broths, our water with wine and, and our seasonings and our main broth, both got to cook for about 20 minutes. I seasoned both of them with the exact same amount of salt and pepper. So I'm gonna turn the heat off on the stove. I'm gonna add the juiced uh, roasted vegetables into the water, give it a stir, and then I'm gonna pour both of those into a container so Monica and I can give them a test. I'm gonna do James's version in the large glass container that I have, and I'm gonna do my version in a small glass container. We're just gonna do about 500 milliliters each and then just give them a taste. And it's wild to see the difference between the fresh and the roasted version, how much darker the roasted version came out. Okay. Baby, you love yourself some soup, I don't do, you? I, do. I love how like all of these taste tests lately have been based around things that you love, like mushrooms and soup. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you're a vegetable broth connoisseur, so we have two different vegetable broths. Okay. Um, we have this one, which is a roasted vegetable broth, mm. and then this one, which is not roasted, it's just cooked down like normal. So we're going to give each one of these a little taste. I love the fact that the not roasted one is kind of clear but look at how dark this is. Okay, so let's go with the clear one. Now these are still a little, it's still a little hot, but cheers. Yeah, I mean. It's good. It's, it's like a nice it's rich really broth. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of flavor. Tons of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's very bold. Yeah, it's it's like not a, bland at all. Like yeah. <laughs> soup and you have to like add salt or add pepper like this has all of the flavor. Like it's a good soup. Okay, mm -hmm. so this one has the same amount of salt, same amount of pepper different method of cooking it. This one's really good too. I think I like the clear one better. Yeah. This is stronger. Um, it's it a has, heck of a lot stronger. Yeah, more of a punch. I think I like the clear one better because it's still really flavorful and it's not like, it's a little too strong for my taste buds, this one. Because of the way that it was cooked, I'm almost wondering if you could double down the amount of water and use less vegetables. That's what I was thinking was like, this is almost like a bouillon in itself. Like you could probably use more water. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. This taste test is going off the wires here. Okay, so we're, we're shooting, but I'm gonna take this, pour it back in, and then we're gonna add another like liter of water and see if we get, um, and just see if we, or actually I'm gonna add like another like half liter of water and see if we get a better broth, it's still a lot thicker. It's like a lot, it's definitely not as clear as that other broth, but now let's give it a taste and just okay, see. Let's see. It's still a really rich broth. It is, but I think it's more um, manageable for me. It's I think- like perfect. Uh, what do you say we mix these two broths together and we have ourselves some soup later? Yeah, that sounds amazing. I'm all about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like this. 